Jack here, and I've got with me this really cool per super digital alarm clock. Now, full disclosure, this was sent to me for free for this video, but as always, that won't change anything that I say. This is the TX5 in the white shell. Let's take a look at it and open up the box. Inside the box, you have your instruction manual, your power brick. This is a USB type A power brick and your USB type A power cable. You also get the clock. We'll go ahead and peel off the protective film that comes with the clock revealing a really nice shiny mirrored black finish on the clock. The exterior of the clock is a nice white color with an orange snooze button. Everything else is going to be white. There is a slot for some batteries on the rear. These come included, which I think is really cool. And these are your backup for the time. So if you lose power or the clock gets disconnected, it will remember the time. We'll go ahead and close that up there. For the power, you're going to take this end of the DC type power cable and plug it into this port here. And then the other end is actually gonna go into the USB type A power adapter right here. We'll get this plugged in in just a second, but you also have a USB type A port here that can double as a phone charger, which means if you only have one outlet, you can plug this guy in and then you pass through charge for your phone, which is really cool. You can see it's got a five volt output rating right there. Let's get this thing plugged in. Now for a full list of functions and features, you do wanna check the manual, but we'll go over some of them now. Here is the clock itself, and you can see right off the bat, this thing is a beautiful clock. Look at it, it's currently changing through all the different color modes. Now on the right here, there is a dimmer switch, which I love on modern alarm clocks. I don't know how this wasn't a thing forever, but having a dimmer switch is a must have for me because I do not like any light when I'm sleeping. You can see this dims all the way down to nothing and then all the way back up to a very bright light. It doesn't look as bright on the video as it is because of my video lights, but in person, it's much brighter. The snooze button's up here, but this snooze button also doubles as a settings mode. You can see we can scroll through all the different options. So this option right here for the digit color is the RGB fade. It's just fading through all the colors. This option here is like a random fade. So you can see each digit numeral, each segment of each digit is just going all over the place, looking really cool. One more, and this gives us like a gradient kind of thing. So it's one color here fading to the other color. One more click, and it's the opposite in the sense that it's a fade from top to bottom instead of left to right. Next, this is like a light blue white color. One more, and we have a red color, a green color, a blue color, and then back to our RGB fade. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So cool, you've got eight different color options on this clock. On the top here, here's all your functions. There's a light button. This turns on and illuminates this under light, which is really cool. If you press this, it'll also cycle through the different colors. So there's red, green, blue, and then you've got a left to right fade. This is your RGB fade. So just one color fading through all the different colors. This would be a slow fade with a flash of each color and then back to white. Now you do have the option to set both 12 or 24 hour time on this clock with the AM appearing. That means that we're on 12 hour time. When that disappears, we're on 24 hour time or military time. So we'll set it to 12 hour time. The next button is the alarm button. To press that once, we'll turn off the alarm, which is indicated by that little bell light. Pressing it again will show us what the alarm is set at, as well as the volume that the alarm is set at, which we can change and then it'll go back there. If we wanna actually change the alarm, we're gonna hold that down. It's gonna flash. We'll go ahead and set this to 5 p.m. Press it again. This is where we set how many days of the week the alarm will sound. So one through seven means the entire week. One through five is only weekdays. Six through seven is only weekends. And back through one through seven. Now note, there is only one alarm, so you can't have a different alarm on the weekend than during the week but you do get to pick how many days a week you want it to sound, which is nice. To set the time, it's just as simple. We're gonna hold down the second button here. It will flash. We'll go ahead and set, we'll go to 5 p.m. We'll go five, I'll go back down the other way. I'm just using the up and down buttons to set the time here. Go ahead, 5.05, we'll hit it again. We're, we can set the year here and the date. So this is gonna be months. And that would be days if we wanted to have it follow the seven day a week setting. But for now, we're just gonna test the alarm. So we set it to 505. The alarm is on and set at 506. So in just a second, you're gonna hear the alarm. Now we can set the alarm volume. So by default, it's at 65 decibels. We can go down to 55 or we can go all the way up to a 
very loud 95. We can also set the light at the bottom to flash if we want to, we'll set it for that. And let's go ahead and wait for the alarm to go off. So yeah, that one wasn't too loud, but like I said, you can very easily change the volume and whether or not you want that light to flash with that button. But all things considered, I'm very happy with this alarm clock. I think the colors and the options that you get with it make it a no-brainer. Um, great for kids, great for a guest bedroom if you want your guests to feel comfortable and excited with the different light settings. But yeah, I'm super happy with it. I think it's a solid option for an alarm clock. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped your purchase decision. I'll see you in the next one.